I'm Wara Natasha Ogunji, and I'm a visual artist and a performance artist. And I make the drawings I make, I draw and sew on paper, um, and I also use ink. And I'm working on architectural sketch paper, so tracing paper, architectural tracing paper. Uh, so I'm sewing into the paper, and I'm also um, using different inks. Some of them are um, pearlescent inks, so they have sort of a shimmer to them. And a lot of the drawings start with an image or even um, like a line of text or maybe a title that comes to me. And then I begin working from that title and it kind of shapes the, the form of the drawing. But in many ways, I'm not trying to create a specific narrative. I start with something and then see the direction where the drawing is taking me. This piece that's called Atlantic, I used a text from this playwright, Ricardo Bracho, and the text talks about this relationship between the Africa and the Americas and the Atlantic Ocean. And it, um, the first part of the text says, we originate in loss, our lost ones line the sea. And it's talking about returning to the sea as the source of, um, of homeland, of beginnings, of origins, as opposed to thinking about a return to an ancestral homeland. And I really like this because um, if you're somebody that ha is from two places or multiple places or has moved around a lot, your what you call homeland isn't always there for you, even if you can return. So you're making home and you're thinking about belonging in lots of different ways. So this piece, I was thinking about the relationship between Africa and the Americas and this idea of thinking about the ocean and that space and that history and memory as a space of creativity, as a generate, generative space. Um, so it's a space of loss when you think of history, but it's also a space that is incredibly um, significant and because it, it gives this creative energy. And if we think about the experiences we have in our lives, like the total of all the experiences we have, good and bad, make up who we are in any present moment. And the most difficult things are sometimes the things that really allow us to shine. And so in a way, I think this work embodies all of those ideas. But I will also say that when I'm beginning a work, um, I, I'm really starting with something very simple, an image, maybe a color, maybe, um, a blue, the, uh, a kind of the color of a, a particular thread that I just love and want to work with. But it's not necessarily about anything specific. So I allow the drawing to direct me. And um, as an artist, I, I'm very open to where that inspiration is taking me and where I will land. So at the end, when I'm looking at the work, like now in the gallery space, I'm just as much an audience member as anybody else. And I'm discovering things and I'm um, learning, learning new things. And the work is, is, um, is getting a kind of a deeper sense about it. It's moving me in ways, almost as if I didn't create the work myself. My mother's American and my father's Nigerian and I grew up in the United States and I moved to Nigeria as an adult, and um, but much of my formative creative years were in the United States. And there were also, um, I have a brother and sister who are also artists. So my mother was very um, creative with us. She did a lot of creative projects and also she really encouraged us to observe a kind of um, beauty in the world and to just recognize the magic in small things and textures and light and the way something felt. We did a lot of creative projects as children. So when I moved to Nigeria, I felt like I really needed to be there in order to further develop my work, my creative work. And one of the first pieces I did in Nigeria was a, a performance piece that's called Will I Still Carry Water When I'm a Dead Woman? And I was thinking about the presence of women in public space, and I was thinking about labor. Um, I was thinking about the labor that women do, and I had this question, which was, if I'm doing this labor now, am I still gonna be doing this labor after I die? Like, is it this ongoing thing, and must we continue to struggle? 
And so a lot of the performance was about exploring this idea and also thinking about what it means, what freedom means and what it means to be present in public space, what it means to be free. And this is definitely a concept that comes into my work in other ways, but not necessarily about, I'm not necessarily creating work that's about freedom or that's representing freedom. It's more that I'm trying to create in the most free way possible. So I'm trying to create a situation in my studio um, so that my imagination can be as free as possible so that I can explore the, the themes and the colors and the textures that I'm most interested in in exploring. And for me, drawing is a very magical place and an ideal place for that to happen.